In this video, we're talking about how to find the perimeter of a triangle. And remember that the perimeter of any object is just the distance around the edge of the object. So if you imagine that you walked around the edge all around the outside, how far would you travel, basically? And that's the idea of perimeter. We have a couple examples here of triangles, and we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find one edge of the triangle that we don't know. Remember that you can only use the Pythagorean theorem when you're dealing with a right triangle, which remember is a triangle that includes a 90 degree angle. So in this first example here, we have a right triangle. It includes a 90 degree angle that's been indicated here. And we've been told that this left leg of the triangle is three units, that the length of the hypotenuse is five units, but this side here, this leg, is unknown. Well, if we want to find the perimeter, we're going to need to be able to add up the lengths of each of the sides, and we can't do that until we find the length of this unknown side. The way that we're going to do that is using the Pythagorean theorem. And remember that the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared is equal equal to c squared when we say that a and b are the lengths of the two legs and c is the length of the hypotenuse. So if we go ahead and say that 3 is one of the legs of the triangle and we plug that in for a, we're going to get 3 squared. b is the length of the unknown leg here, so we're going to go ahead and leave that b squared. And then we know that the length of the hypotenuse is 5. C is always the hypotenuse, so we go ahead and plug in 5 for C, the hypotenuse. When we simplify, we're going to get 9 plus b squared is equal to 25. When we subtract 9 from both sides, we're going to get b squared is equal to 16. And when we take the square root of both sides, we get b is equal to 4. So we can say that this side length is equal to 4. Then to find the perimeter, we just add the three side lengths together. So we say 3 plus 4 plus 5, and that's going to be 7 and 12, is going to be the perimeter of the triangle. What about this second example here? We've been given this triangle. We know that the length of this side is 17 units, that the length of this side is 10 units, but we don't know the length of the base, so we're going to need to find that in order to find the perimeter of this triangle. How are we going to go about finding the length of the base? This triangle here is not a right triangle, but as you notice, we can divide this triangle into two separate right triangles. So on the left-hand side of this dashed line here, we have a right triangle. We know it's a right triangle because we've been told here that this is a right angle, which means that this is also a right angle. So everything on the left here is a right triangle, and everything on the right is a right triangle. So we can deal with them separately, use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of each base, and then add the bases together to get the length of the total base, and then we'll be able to find perimeter. So let's go ahead and call this side, the base on the left-hand side, b sub 1, or the first base, and this we'll call b sub 2, or the second base. So if we want to find the base of the triangle on the left here, everything to the left of this dashed line, remember we'll use the Pythagorean theorem, and we'll say that one leg is going to be 8, so we'll say that a is equal to 8, so we'll say 8 squared plus b sub 1 squared is going to be equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared, so 17 squared. When we simplify, we'll get 64 plus b sub 1 squared is equal to, 17 squared is 289. When we subtract 64 from both sides, we're going to get b sub 1 squared is equal to 225. And then when we take the square root of both sides, we get b sub 1 is equal to the square root of 225, which is 15. So we can say b sub 1 is going to be equal to 15. Now what about the length of the base of the triangle on the right-hand side here? Well, again, we've got a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. We know that a in the Pythagorean theorem is going to be equal to 8. That's the length of one leg, so we can say 8 squared plus b sub 2 squared is going to be equal to the hypotenuse squared, in this case, 10 squared. So here we're going to get 64 plus b sub 2 squared is equal to 100. When we subtract 64 from both sides, we're going to get 36. And then when we take the square root of both sides, we're going to get b sub 2 is equal to the square root of 36, or 6. So now we know that b sub 2 is equal to 6. So if we want the length of the entire base, then obviously we're just going to add 15 and 6 together. 15 plus 6 is going to give us 21. So the length of the base then is 21. So then to find perimeter, we just take the length of each of the three sides and add them together. So we'll say 17 plus 10 
plus 21, the length of the base that we found, and that's going to be 48, and so we can say that the perimeter of this triangle is 48 units.